spirit is now going to ignite that teaching. And the Bible says that he was so bad that the Jews could not even stand him. Why? Because when the anointing strikes and he proclaimed the word of God, they didn't have an argument for it. Didn't like it, but couldn't do nothing about it. The Bible says, the Bible says that they got so mad with him that they watched the gates day and night. So as soon as he come out, we're going to kill him. We're going to lay in the cart and we're going to get him. But the Bible says that their land in wait was known to the disciples. It's good to know stuff. It is good to know stuff. Hosea would even say that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. In other words, something they didn't know. Didn't say they won't save and sanctify and feel the Holy Ghost. Said they ain't got no knowledge. So God help me to have knowledge. But not knowledge but the Holy Spirit to help me with my knowledge. The Bible says that even in this time they came up with a savvy plan. I love God. God is into smart planning. I know we in the church don't believe that but let me tell you God is into smart planning. God has no problems with smart planning. Let me give you a brilliant part of Jesus. He decided to save sinners because otherwise he wouldn't have anything. Well, Let's do the math. We were all in Adam. Out of Adam came Eve. Into Adam, Adam went into Eve. Now they're sinners. So since our parents are sinners, then her, chances are we are sinners. But I am black because my parents are black. So all of us were sinners. But Jesus sent his only, God sent his only begotten son, wrapped him in human flesh, put him on a cross that you and I might have a right to the tree of life. That's the only way you got saved. For it is by grace you sang the song. Through faith that we are saved. It's not a works. Lest any man should boast. But the Bible tells us something else that I want to deal with just for a moment. The Bible tells us that while Saul of Tarsus was threatening to be killed, that the disciples got together and said, we got to save his life. All point one to this little message. Saints, we got to get together and save him some life. We got to get together and save some life. Yes. Oh, they may be young and arrogant and they don't know where they're going and don't have a clue as to what they're doing, but we still got to save yes. some lives. Yes. The Bible says that they would get a plan and let him down side the wall in a basket. Why? Because they're watching the doors. Right. They're watching the gates. Right. So we're going to have to be savvy That's and right. figure out another way to get the thing done. Right. They don't want us to go this way, the mainstream, but you know what? We got God. So we can create a will, a well, a water, and a wilderness. Right. We can create rivers in the desert. In other words, we can go another way and make it work anyway. Right. And in spite of all that you can do to stop it, yeah. as Hamlet say yes. you can't touch this. Yes. The Bible tells us the Bible tells us how that they would take a rope and let it down with it was attached to a basket and he was in there. Let me bother that for a moment. Have you ever had the saints pray for you and it seems like you were confined in a basket? And you're hung between heaven and earth. In other words, there's no stability. See, when you're falling in a basket, there is no stability. In other words, you are out of control and there's nothing you can do about it. But thanks be to God for those that are holding the rope because they're not going to let you go. In spite of how crazy you want to act, they are not going to let you go. In spite of you giving up on you, they are not going to let you go. In spite of you acting like crazy, they are still going to hold the rope. And while their hands may bleed from holding the rope, they will not relinquish it because you are on there. The Bible says that they held the rope. Can you hold the rope for me? Can 
you hold the rope for me while I'm going through whatever it is I'm going through? While I'm acting foolish and unconcerned, can you hold the rope for me? Can you pray for me? Can you hope? Can you hold on, pray, and expect God to deliver me? What can you do while I'm going through? Will you hold the rope for me? anniversary, 127 years, the length of Sarah's life. What will you do on the year 128? Will you still hold the rope? Because I got news for you. Where you are sitting now, somebody held the rope so that you could be here. Somebody didn't turn you loose while you were still trying to get it together. Someone didn't give up on you while you were still stuck on stupid. But God had someone to hold the rope, even though their hands bled. Yeah. finally reached the ground and he escaped <laughs> under the cover of darkness. Under the cover of darkness he escaped. God helped me to hold the rope for that brother that's stuck on stupid. Help me to hold the rope for that sister that's stuck on stupid. Help me to hold the rope for that cousin that don't have a clue and don't want a clue. God help me to hang in there and not give up on them. God me to understand that God is looking for a man that will stand in the gap and pray for me when the instruction should be mine. That he says, God, your word said that you can ask for deliverance for those that have been on destruction and it would be granted. So God spares life one more time. God, I know that this is the fourth trip around the mountain, but God spares his life. 